When safety is ignored and warnings are missed in construction, the results can be tragic. In this video, we'll show you some of the biggest construction mistakes and failures that happened between the year 2000 and 2025. These disasters shook cities, took lives, and left behind painful lessons. In the early hours of June 24, 2021, the peaceful town of Surfside in Florida turned into a disaster zone. Champlin Tower South, a 12-story beachfront condo, suddenly crumbled to the ground. Within seconds, over half of the building had collapsed. Without warning, this unfortunate incident had taken people sleeping in their beds unaware. The sound was loud and violent, the air was filled with dust that you could barely see through, and underneath the rubble were dozens of people trapped or gone. In total, 98 people lost their lives. It was one of the deadliest building collapses in modern U.S. history. But what caused such a terrible failure? Apparently, investigators found that the building had serious structural problems. Reports had warned about concrete damage and water leaks years before the collapse. Furthermore, engineers had noted that the support columns and pool deck were weakening, and a major repair plan was supposed to start soon. But it was too late. The building had already collapsed before the mission to save it even began. Now, let's travel to the other side of the country, where a luxury skyscraper faces a cruel fate. This is the Millennium Tower, a skyscraper with 58 stories of expensive apartments completed in 2009. Located in San Francisco, California, the luxurious building was open to celebrities, athletes, and rich business people who rushed to purchase an apartment there. But there was a hidden problem with the building, something no one saw coming. Soon after people moved in, the building started to sink. Not just a little bit, but about 18 inches into the ground. Aside from sinking, it also tilted and leaned 14 inches to the side. And the problem? A faulty foundation. When the tower was built, it wasn't anchored to the bedrock far below. Instead, it rested on soft soil and sand. Over time, the soil couldn't hold the skyscraper's weight. As a result, the building slowly shifted. Cracks began to appear, and doors stopped closing properly. People inside were scared, prompting them to file lawsuits. Some owners even had trouble selling their apartments. To stop things from getting worse, engineers planned a massive retrofit project that cost over $100 million. The idea was to drill new supports deep into the ground and connect the tower to the bedrock. But even that fix had problems. During the work, the tower sank even more. Although it still stands today, tomorrow isn't guaranteed for this luxury project. Let's hope engineers can properly save it in the future. Still in California, another major failure happened in 2017, this time involving a dam. The Oroville Dam is the tallest dam in the United States, holding back a massive lake of water. But in February of that year, something scary happened. After heavy rains, water had to be released through the main spillway of the dam. But as water rushed down, a giant hole appeared in the concrete. Chunks of the spillway broke apart and water started pouring into the ground below. Engineers were shocked and quickly stopped the flow to inspect the damage, but the situation was already getting worse. Soon, the nearby emergency spillway, which had never been used before, also began to show signs of failing. Apparently, water was eating away at the dirt and rocks around it. If the emergency spillway collapsed, a 30-foot wall of water could have crashed down on nearby towns. The risk was too great, prompting the authorities to order the residents evacuation. In just hours, 188,000 people were forced to flee their homes. Highways were jammed, families grabbed what they could and rushed out of the area. Thankfully, a total collapse was avoided. Many engineering crews worked fast to reinforce the spillway and reduce water levels. Still, the damage was huge. The repairs took years, with an estimated sum of over $1 billion. Afterward, investigations found that the dam spillways had poor concrete, bad maintenance, and design flaws. If the tallest dam in the U.S. could come so close to disaster, how many other dams might be at risk too? Now let's turn to Lagos, Nigeria, where a devastating collapse occurred in November 2021. The building in question was a 21-story luxury tower under construction. It seemed like just another grand project in the heart of one of Africa's busiest cities. But what no one knew was that this building was in serious trouble. The day it fell, it happened too quickly. 
One minute, workers were going about their tasks. The next minute, the building collapsed in on itself. It was total destruction. The collapse killed over 40 people and trapped many more beneath tons of rubble. Investigations soon uncovered the cause of the disaster. The developers had made unapproved changes to the original design. These modifications weakened the building's structure, and warnings from workers about unsafe materials were ignored. The end, a tragedy never forgotten. Mexico City has also experienced one of the most dangerous construction failures in recent years. In May 2021, a section of the Metro Line 12 overpass collapsed while a train was crossing it. This disaster resulted in 26 deaths and dozens of injuries, leaving the city in shock. The problem began with the construction itself. It was discovered that faulty welds and poor construction techniques had weakened the overpass. Apparently, the structural flaws were ignored and the materials used were of poor quality. This finding drew so much criticism to the Mexican government and the companies behind the Metro line for cutting corners during the project. What made this failure even more tragic was that the overpass had been in service for only seven years before it gave way. This was not just an accident. It was the result of years of poor construction and neglected safety checks. Heading back to the United States, another tragic and shocking failure took place in March 2018. A pedestrian bridge that had just been built at Florida International University in Miami collapsed. The new bridge, which was meant to provide a safe crossing for students over a busy road, fell onto the traffic below, killing six people and injuring several others. Investigators quickly found that the bridge's design was flawed. The engineers had overlooked serious cracks in the bridge's main truss, and the construction company ignored warnings about the safety risks posed by those cracks. Even though engineers had identified these issues before the collapse, they were not addressed in time. The bridge had been newly installed just five days earlier and was still under construction. Tragically, the very day it collapsed, workers were adjusting the bridge while traffic was still passing underneath. The result? deadly. And still in the United States, a new Hard Rock Hotel being built in the heart of New Orleans' famous Bourbon Street District was never completed. Instead, it collapsed during construction in October 2019. The tragic collapse happened in the early morning and left three construction workers dead and several others injured. The cause of the collapse? Structural overloading. The building had been pushed beyond its limits because the design was not carefully followed and the construction methods were rushed. Additionally, the structural supports weren't designed to bear the weight of the floors above. The collapse left a huge part of the hotel unstable for months and surrounding businesses were also severely damaged. The recovery process took a long time and it wasn't until later that it became clear that safety concerns had been ignored throughout the construction. Looking towards Asia, a disaster unfolded that left nine people dead in South Korea. This happened in the city of Gwangju during a demolition project in January 2021. The building under demolition unexpectedly collapsed onto the street. What made this incident even more disheartening was that the building fell onto a bus killing everyone inside. Investigations revealed that poor management was to blame for this tragedy. The demolition company had not properly planned or executed the process. They failed to safely remove structural supports and the entire building came down much too early. Still in Asia, a quiet holiday turned into a nightmare for the people of Morbi in the Indian state of Gujarat. A historic suspension bridge, which is over 100 years old, suddenly collapsed while crowded with people in October 2022. The bridge had just reopened after a renovation. As a result, families, tourists, and children were out celebrating this special occasion. Hundreds of people had gathered on the bridge, many taking photos and enjoying the evening. But then, without any warning, the bridge snapped and fell into the river. More than 135 people died and many others were injured. There were twisted metal and broken cables flying here and there with people in the water crying out for help. Rescue workers rushed to the scene, but by the time they arrived, the river had already taken many lives. Later reports revealed the truth. The renovation had been done poorly. The company that handled the repairs did not test the bridge properly before opening it to the public. No safety certificates were issued. Even worse, the cables that held the bridge together were rusted and some had snapped during the renovation process, but nothing was done to replace them. Now we head over to Las Vegas, a city known for wild designs and flashy buildings. In 2010, one of its new hotels had a strange and dangerous problem. It wasn't a fire, a collapse, or a flood. 
it was the sun. The Vidara Hotel, a sleek high-rise with curved glass windows, was part of the new city center development on the Las Vegas Strip. The building looked modern and beautiful, but guests relaxing by the pool started to notice something odd and painful. It turned out the hotel had accidentally created a death ray. Because of the curved shape of the glass and the angle of the sun, the building acted like a giant magnifying glass. It reflected and focused sunlight into a small area near the pool deck. That concentrated beam of heat could raise temperatures over 100 degrees Celsius. This was hot enough to burn skin or even melt materials. The hotel rushed to provide a remedy for this unforeseen construction mishap. They put up shade structures and applied non-reflective film to the glass. But by then, the damage to their reputation had already been done. In 2009, something almost unbelievable happened in Shanghai, China. A 13-story apartment building, part of a new residential complex called Lotus Riverside, didn't break into pieces. It didn't catch fire or collapse floor by floor. Instead, the entire building tipped over, completely intact. Yes, the entire structure fell sideways, like a tree being pushed over. The building landed nearly whole on its side, lying in the mud, with all its windows and balconies still visible. What caused this bizarre accident? The answer was bad planning during construction. Workers had dug a deep underground garage right next to the building's foundation. At the same time, they dumped large piles of soil on the opposite side. This created uneven pressure on the ground. The soft soil under the building couldn't take the stress and eventually the whole structure tipped over. One construction worker was killed during the fall, but most of the building was still empty because it wasn't finished yet. Each one of these disasters reminds us that construction is not just about building things, it's about protecting lives. When engineers, architects, and builders get it right, the world gains landmarks that last for generations. But when they get it wrong by ignoring safety, cutting corners, or underestimating the forces of nature, the results can be devastating. Families can be torn apart, cities shaken, and lives lost. These stories are not just about concrete and steel. They're about the people who paid the price and the lessons we can never afford to forget. New projects rise every year, and with every new foundation poured, there's one question we must keep asking. Are we building it right this time? Please consider subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the story.